These reforms around expunging criminal convictions came about in first in Victoria and New South Wales. So once each of those states had passed their respective laws and started to implement them, we identified that this was something that could and should be done in Queensland as well. The research we did, in particular with Alan's assistance, showed that there were potentially upwards of 500 cases uh, of people being convicted under these laws and there's potentially far more um, of people who were convicted under what are sort of more ancillary offences. It's quite a complex area. Uh, Queensland does have a spent convictions regime which allows some offences not to be disclosed after a certain period of time and on certain conditions. The problems with that was that it's around a rehabilitation concept and it also has a number of exceptions, for example, for working with children and applying for some government jobs, which meant that people convicted with these historic consensual sex activities uh, still might have to disclose them. Alan's coming on board with us and giving the pro bono assistance, I think was one of the key things in the success of this law reform project. Finally, in uh, late 2016, the Attorney General announced that it would be on the the cards as a legislative reform for the next year. Uh, in May 2017, we had the formal apology issued by the Premier of Queensland in Parliament. It was a really special day on the day that the bill was passed and people got an opportunity to actually meet with the Premier and yeah. the Deputy Premier and the Attorney General in a session, private session before the bill was introduced. What have you gauged to be the um, sort of the, the reaction of the community more broadly um, on that day and, and like since then? Yeah, so the community is, I think, over the moon about it. Um, firstly, I guess it, it's getting rid of these convictions, which is a really important step for a lot of people who are in the LGBTI community. But almost more importantly at times is the symbolic gesture that has both the bill that's been passed, but also the apology that was given by the Premier. Um, these things cause people to hold on to a lot of shame, a lot of stigma, um, even though these, the decriminalisation of homosexuality occurred 17 years ago in Queensland. People still remember it, people still feel it every day. So mm -hmm. having the Queensland Government issue an apology um, saying that those laws were wrong and that they're sorry they happened. And then going through and actually passing this legislation just has an amazing impact. So both personally, um, and I'm speaking on behalf of the firm as well, I just um, wanted to say that it's been an absolute privilege working with you on, on this matter. Uh, it's been a long-term, really challenging uh, matter that's started out of nowhere um, but we've managed to achieve something really fantastic. Thanks for coming in and talking to us today.